Inihahan do ng Department of Education Schools Division Office of Cotabato at DXGO 103.1 Radio Pilipinas sa pakikipagtulungan ng Notre Dame Broadcasting Corporation, DXND Radio Bida Kidapawan at DXMS Radio Bida Cotabato, 99.9 Nutri Escuela Radio Casadja at ng Love Jan Foundation, ang Radio Kasyon. Radio Kasyon. Radio Base Instruction under the new normal. Layunin itong maihatid sa mga mag-aaral ang dekalidad na edukasyon sa gitna ng pandemya. Ito, ito, ito ang Radio Kasyon. Hello and have a nice day, grade 5 learners. I'm Rosie Esidano. I'm your learning provider for this broadcast. But before we will proceed to the teaching and learning process, please prepare your Mathematics Module 4 and of course, your Activity Notebook because as we go on with this, you will be performing different activities. To avoid any disturbances, be sure that you are in a conducive learning environment while listening to our broadcast. Keep focus and start your day right by showing at most interest in mathematics subject. This time, please get and open your module 4 in Mathematics 5 about solving routine and non-routine problems involving factors, multiples, and divisibility rules. Get ready because we are about to answer different activities. Again, our lesson for this session is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving factors, multiples, and divisibility rules. But before we will discuss our new lesson, let me first make sure your learnings in your past lesson about demonstrating understanding of divisibility, factors, and multiples. I hope that you still remember these concepts. This time, let us see how far you have learned from the previous quiz. Do you still remember your answers from your quiz? If you have a copy of your answers, check your answers and count the points you have earned from the activity. Let's begin. Under Assessment Test A number 1, the answer is letter A, 2, B, 3, C, 4, B, and 5, A. For test B, number 1, the answer is 4. Number 2, the answer is 0. Number 3, the answer is 2. Number 4, the answer is 4. And lastly, for number 5, the answer is 4. What is your score? We hope that your answers from the previous quiz are all correct. As we go on to the next lesson, another short quiz will be given. There is no need to worry. We are very sure that you can easily answer all the questions if you will just keep your full attention on the topic that we will discuss in this session. I guess everything is set. And this time, we are all set for the next lesson. Are you ready? As what I have said earlier, that our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving factors, multiples, and divisibility rules. Now, get your module 4 to follow the discussion. Here is our module number 4 on solving routine and non-routine problems involving factors, multiples, and divisibility rules. Previously, we talked about demonstrating understanding of divisibility, factors, and multiples. At the end of this broadcast, you are expected to solve routine and non-routine problems involving factors, multiples, and divisibility rules. Are you ready? Now get your module, ball pen, and your activity notebook for us to begin. 
Our discussion for today will focus on solving routine and non-routine problems involving factors, multiples, and divisibility rules. Always bear in mind the concepts on how to find the factors of a certain number, its multiples, and the divisibility rules which was being tackled by your previous radio teacher. What we are going to discuss now is the application of what you have learned in your previous topic about divisibility factors and multiples. Since you are already well-oriented about your previous topic, let's discuss now how to solve word problems and what are the steps to follow as our guide. Please inculcate this in your mind that in solving word problems, we need to follow these steps. A sure guide to come up with the correct answer. First, you need to understand the given problem by identifying what is being asked and what are given. Again, step 1 or keyword number 1 is understand. Second, you have to plan. What operation is suited to the given problem or what operation are you going to use? Again, step 2 or keyword number 2 is plan. Third, you will now solve the problem using the operation that you have planned. Again, step 3 or keyword number 3 is solve. And the last, you have to check your answer or review your process in solving to check if your answer is correct. Again, the last step or keyword is check. Let's sum up the steps or the four keywords in solving word problems. These are understand, plan, solve, and check. These steps are clearly explained in your module pages from 8 to 9. You can also solve word problems by simply following the guide questions. These are what is asked, what are given, what operation will be used, what is the number sentence, and the last is give or state your complete answer. Let us now apply what we have learned from our discussion about steps or guides in problem solving. Let us answer activity 2 on page 9 of your module. The problem is, Lovi planted 600 carrots equally in 20 rows. How many carrots were planted in each row? In solving this problem, we need to find out what is being asked in the problem. Usually, it can be found at the end of the statement. If your answer is, how many carrots? were planted each row, then you are correct. Now, let's proceed to guide question number 2. What are given? We are now referring to the numbers found in the problem. So what are they? If you said 600 carats and 20 rows, then you got it right. Next, what operation will be used? By just simply analyzing a problem, we can come up the correct operation to be used. So in this problem, since we need to distribute 600 carats in 20 rows, so what do you think is the operation suited for this? If you choose division, then you are intelligent. Now, can you state the number sentence? If you write 600 divided by 20 equals n, then you are awesome. Are you done solving the problem? Please give your answer now. If your answer is the same with my answer which is 30, then you are now expert in this topic. Now you are already knowledgeable about the steps in solving routine and non-routine problems involving factors, multiples, and divisibility rules. I hope that you have clearly understood the concepts or strategies on how to solve routine and non-routine problems involving factors, 
multipulse and divisibility rules. See you next time for another fun facts on a daily fun day here at Daily Fun Day Learning on Air. If there are any questions and queries about the discussion, feel free to send us your message so our host can assist you with that. Good luck on the quiz! Since I already discussed clearly the topic, please remember the key ideas about the lesson so that you can answer the next activity. What a worthy day spent with learning! You can now solve routine and non-routine problems involving factors, multiples, and divisibility rules. And now, as we finish our lesson for today, it is about time to see how far you have learned from today's session about solving routine and non-routine problems involving factors, multiples, and divisibility rules. Now, get your ball pen and answer the assessment on page 11 of your module. Write your answers in your activity notebook. Are you now ready for the quiz? Be sure to have all the things needed in answering the given activity. The directions are, solve the following problems, show your complete solution, and encircle your final answer. Number 1 Word Problem Val has some chocolates. If he shares them equally among 4 friends or 5 friends, there are always 2 extra chocolates left. What is the possible number of chocolates Val could have? Number 2 Word Problem Melody baked cookies for her 3 sons and 2 daughters. If she bake 45 cookies only, how many cookies did her three sons and two daughters have? And that's it for our quiz. Be sure that all items were answered carefully. Your next radio teacher will discuss the answer for this. If you have queries and clarifications, feel free to write it and send us your message through submitting it in your respective schools where the subject teacher can pick up the said materials. What a fun day spent with meaningful learning! Attach our enrichment activities for you to practice more in solving routine and non-routine problems involving factors, multiples, and divisibility rules. Wait for your teacher's call or text about some announcements. If there are things you wish to clarify, feel free to message the number provided on your module. Or you may send the message to our official FB page so we can better help you with your concerns. Our next lesson will be about performing two operations on whole numbers, applying parentheses, Multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, or PM does. Or grouping, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, or GM does. Be sure to tune in again to our next Fun Facts experience on the here at Daily Fun Day Learning on Air every day. Until next time. I am teacher Rosie S. Idano. Always remember, education is not limited to the four walls of classroom, but it can be happen anywhere.
Education Schools Division Office of Cotabato at DXGO 103.1 Radio Pilipinas sa pakikipagtulungan ng Notre Dame Broadcasting Corporation, DXMD Radio Bida Kidapawan at DXMS Radio Bida Cotabato, 99.9 Nutri Escuela Radio Casadja at ng Love Jan Foundation, ang Radio Kasyon. Radio Kasyon, radio based instruction under the new normal. Layunin itong maihatid sa mga mag-aaral ang dikalidad na edukasyon sa gitna ng pandemya. Ito, ito, ito ang Radio Kasyon.